Hello my soccer universe. Well, that's the rare Sunday video and I'm even gonna post this now on Sunday because I don't expect it to be a long video. Uh, but there was a small med and this time I'm actually not saying it jokingly. To me the Club World Cup is more an afterthought. It's an interesting idea, but I said it before, I think it's not a great tournament. Um, and also admittedly because the Europeans don't make it a great tournament. Uh, on the other side, I don't know. Uh, the genesis of it is okay. Uh, into, into the Intercontinental Cup to uh, match up the Libertadores and the Champions League winner or European Cup winner. That I think was a great, great idea. There are some great matches in history there. Not least the uh, first Flamengo Liverpool final, but uh, the Europeans never took it as seriously as the South Americans, and that created a problem. Now that you get a nice little patch here, and um, you know, you can call yourself Club World Champion, and uh, you know, uh, Europeans put, uh, put a little bit more emphasis on it. And you could see that yesterday um, when Liverpool uh, started the game, and let me say, I was so happy to see that Liverpool had to be the home team because that uh, saved us from a weird color uh, matchup. I actually, though I like the Flamengo in red and black, I really love the white jersey with uh, just one red black um, band. And Liverpool in red is a much better looking final than if, say, Liverpool had played in their white jerseys where there's actually a little bit too much blue in there. I really loved that matchup a whole lot better. And you could see Liverpool from the get-go was dangerous and tried to move forward. Um, and it took Flamengo about 15 minutes to gain control of the game. And then, for most of the time, you could describe the game. Flamengo having all the possession, having all slight even control and more of the game. But Liverpool had the chances, uh, which was a little bit odd to see. Um, on the other side, I know that Flamengo, from all that I read, you know, I have seen Flamengo once this year. That was in the Copa Libertadores final. And I don't think it was the best representation. But from what I read, Flamengo is a team that actually wants to attack, wants to take the initiative, which I absolutely find admirable because uh, Brazilian uh, teams that I've seen at the Club World Cup usually want to hang back. There was just Santos who tried to play with the great Barcelona and got punished to the nth degree. Uh, that was one Club World Cup final that I was actually excited back then, and then Barcelona <sighs> gives them a schooling, and I think Neymar from that moment on knew that he has to join and go to Europe. It is what it is. So yeah, uh, that was the characteristic of the, of the game. It was even crazy that I think Liverpool didn't have the first corner kick uh, until the 80th minute or something like that. Uh, it was not a great game. I thought that the choice of referee, if you want to make this the biggest club game in the world, you need to give it uh, the biggest referee or one of the best referees. Now, I know there is a problem that the other leagues are playing as well. So you might not get uh, the top referee from the Premier League or from Serie A. Uh, Premier League would not an uh, Binogo or La Liga. However, uh, get one from there. Or no, uh, get an uh, Argentinian, Brazilian ref, uh, Argentinian referee, Pitana, for instance. Don't give me a Qatari referee. This guy has never seen players on such a high level. Yes, you need to give them experience, but not in a final. He made, I think, one glaring mistake, and there were others as well, where I really thought, I mean, I watched it, watched both two games, as I said, uh, Manchester City against Leicester City, and uh, the Club World Cup final, but from what I could tell, I always thought that he never really had control of the game. This was too big for him. Uh, that speed that Liverpool can put up with He's not used to that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's little, little, actually the game was played at a much slower pace, maybe to accommodate the referee. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, early in the second half, Firmino should, should have scored. I mean, with a wonderful move, he takes a shot and hits the post. Um, that made it 1-0. I, I cannot really recount any good chances by Flamengo, to be honest. I just remember them being always around, but taking shots that never really hit the goal or so on. And if there was something, Alisson was usually there. I think there was one late where, where Alisson made a decent, uh, good save. But um, 
that was for me the problem uh, that Flamengo lacked the punch going forward. Uh, Henderson had a good chance uh, late. That was uh, was a really nice save by the, by the goalkeeper. And that for me, the scene that really showed the ineptitude of the referee. Uh, Mane got the ball and was running clear on goal, and Rafinha seemingly clips him. And it was kind of uh, did he uh, play the ball? So the referee gives a penalty and a yellow card for Rafinha. I think already a yellow card. If it if he clips him there. I actually think it should be a red card because it's uh, preventing a clear goal constant. But I, I, I guess he, if he gives a penalty, it has to be a yellow card or something like that. I don't know now uh, with this double punishment. Anyway, uh, Rafinha, of course. No, no, no. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I, I, I didn't do anything. Of course, you will say that. Um, and it became pretty apparent that it was right at the edge of the box, and probably the first contact happened outside of the box. That it was a foul was for me not even a discussion. I think if it goes outside of box, you even need to get Rafinha, give Rafinha the red card. The referee waves it off that there was nothing. That was absolutely a ridiculous decision in, on my part of view. And honestly, I was more for Flamengo in this game because I know it means more to South Americans. And uh, so I and I wanna have that it's a little bit more competitive. They're not just the Europeans go up, play da 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 da, and win it. I want that some other uh, countries win it. I'm. So, but that decision was so ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, that showed the inaptitude of the referee. Well, so it goes to overtime, the last thing that I think at least Liverpool won it. In overtime, on the count, count track in the 99th minute, uh, the ball goes to, to Manet, who binds two players, Firmino is free, uh, plays the ball over to Firmino, who has all the calm, collecting as to go over, puts it into the internet. And I knew from that point that the game was decided. Um, yes, there was a good chance, I think, by Junior in a very, very late, late in the game, but he mishits the ball. Uh, I think right after the 1 0, Salah could have made it 2 0. In the end, I think we know who, we knew who the better team is from the get go. I mean, if I see. Flamengo is an exciting team to watch, but if I see the most known players, those are players that have formerly played in Europe and are not uh, that great, great anymore. And this is something where we have to think about how can we, and I know that we don't want to think about that, how can we make this more competitive that the Brazilian stars actually stay in Brazil? That would be something that we have to think about. That uh, not a Brazilian scores the winner against a Brazilian team. Um, those are things that uh, would be needed to make this whole thing more competitive. This Club World Cup, in this iteration, and even, let's say, even if they would make a 16-team tournament with, let's say, four Europeans, four South Americans, and fill in from the other uh, countries, it will not get more exciting. Because uh, I would expect at least three Euro Euro Europeans in the semifinal, um, and then we might get something good. But the, what the Champions League has is that you have home and away games. And there's a completely different atmosphere to them. That makes it special. And that it's all kind of... I don't think a Club World Cup just by the sheer idea can work and can surely not work in an athletic stadium in Qatar where, yes, there are some fans there, but the atmosphere gets completely lost. So yeah, um, we also had the third place game where Monterrey uh, beat Al Hilal after two two on penalties, and so we have Liverpool uh, champions Flamengo second, Al and Monterrey third, kind of almost like I would have expected from the get go. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the Club World Cup, the Club World Cup final. Uh, there is a video somewhere on my channel on how to improve the Club World Cup. Um, I actually should rewatch it and redo it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that will be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.